Hi, I'm Heather Patton, a hepatologist with the VA San Diego Healthcare System. And on behalf of my co-authors, Dr. Julie Heinbach uh, with Transplant Surgery at the Mayo Clinic, and Dr. Arthur McCullough in Gastroenterology, Hepatology, and Nutrition with Cleveland Clinic, I'm happy to um, introduce you to a clinical practice update addressing bariatric surgery in patients who have cirrhosis. So because obesity is an important comorbidity in patients with chronic liver disease, including cirrhosis, um, we think that this is an important uh, disease or cofactor to address in this patient population. Because weight loss through lifestyle modification is difficult to achieve in, in practice, we wanted to review circumstances under which consideration can be made for bariatric surgery in patients who do have cirrhosis. Um, the minimal, minimal criteria we think need to be evaluated uh, in potential candidates for bariatric surgery in the presence of cirrhosis include history of decompensation, clinically significant portal hypertension, sarcopenia, and history of alcohol use disorder. Minimal programmatic criteria for consideration of surgery in this population include um, surgeons and anesthesiologists with experience in managing patients with cirrhosis and portal hypertension and access to medical providers um, with experience managing patients in the postoperative state um, who have cirrhosis. We think that um, because of the preservation of endoscopic access, um, gradual weight loss and lack of malabsorption that a laparoscopic sleeve gastrocnemia gastrectomy is likely the most appropriate surgical approach in this patient population. If you'd like to read more about this, I encourage you to look at the clinical practice update on bariatric surgery in cirrhosis in the March 2021 issue of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology. Thank you.